Hello and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update as of April 21st, 2021. In today's uh, video is a video clip of, uh, of basically the Republicans that are committing uh, pedophilia and they're the ones saying that they're not into it and how the Democrats are and yet they're the ones being convicted of and arrested for pedophilia and other sex crimes. So have another clip for you. We'll go down in history as unequivocally and inarguably the worst president in American history. He leaves office with his campaign chairman and his deputy campaign chairman convicted felons. With his most long-standing political advisor, Roger Stone, a convicted felon. With his campaign manager, Steve Bannon, under federal indictment and awaiting trial. With a criminal investigation of himself and his business underway in New York and possibly another criminal investigation pending against him soon in the state of Georgia. With the last two banks on earth that would still do business with him pledging now to never do so again. One of them closing his accounts and calling on him to resign the presidency. The other one is the one to which he has personally guaranteed over $300 million in outstanding loans, which are soon coming due with no one having any sense of how he will possibly pay them. With his business interests cratering at home and across the globe, with a live question in play as to whether he will be the first president to ever face a lifetime legal ban on him ever running for office again. With the and as you saw from the last video, as he's going to go down as the worst president ever, with his campaign managers to make that being felons and the last two banks that do ever do business with him, one of them closing his accounts and the other one saying he has three hundred million dollars due, and apparently he don't have this money. Hmm. Makes you wonder where he's going to get it from, right? I mean, is he live off Melania? I mean, come on, he lives in Florida, and we understand Melania was supposed to be a high priced hooker. I mean, uh fashion model and so makes you wonder if she gonna, is she gonna support his habit and change his diapers for the rest of his life because basically he, as you saw he has he has another lawsuit pending from Georgia as well so Trump's not really doing so good but on to a different topic now as you can see by what's behind me in my backdrop and it was also on my uh, cover photo it was a picture of marijuana basically and why I did that is because um, Chuck Schumer, the current majority leader of the Senate, is actually trying to legalize marijuana, well, decriminalize it, basically, by April 20th of 2022. Well, he might have a problem with that, just the simple fact that in 2022, there are more Senate elections up for grabs. I don't know, we don't know whether they're going to go to Republicans or they're going to go to Democrats. I'm hoping they go to Democrats because as we've seen from this year alone from Republicans and their bad behavior that they don't deserve to be holding office anymore. They need to be get, gotten rid of. I mean, we, we saw last year when the Republicans ran the, um, the Senate how they passed a $2.2 trillion stimulus package. I'm not talking about the CARES Act or anything like that. I'm talking about a stimulus package that was basically a bunch of tax credits. And most of them were permanent for the rich people and only temporary for the poor people like me and most of my viewers, I'm sure, because we're below, we're, okay, we're not quite poor, but we're pretty damn close, we're, we're below making the, what we need for to be not poor, I guess, I'm not sure you put it that way, but like I said, you, as, you, the, as you see the weed behind me, Chuck Schumer will see that pass next year on April 20th, hopefully, but as I said, he has he might have some Republican opposition by then because the Senate um, the um, Senate season will be open, and he might get Democrat or might get Republican. 
No offense to Democrats, but we'll see what happens. And why he wants to pass it is because economic people that do the economy have told him that if he decriminalizes it, that this narcotic, basically what it is, could be a $24 billion economy boost within a four-year time frame. Well, as, we, as I'm sure we've already noticed, when, Cal, when Colorado, sorry for, for stammering, when Colorado actually opened up their very first weed dispensary, they did $1 million in profit. Now, that's actually pretty damn good. Now, think about here. You have all the, you have all the states decriminalizing it, and you have dispensaries in every single state that you can sell to recreational or otherwise. Well, think about it here. That right there, with the taxes off it, then plus the fact that is the money is still going into the economy and coming back out, and you know, so helping support our economy. They actually might have a pretty damn good idea. But I think it, it, it stimulated our economy in a great amount before a four-year time frame was up. But like I said, Chuck Schumer has to get on the ball about getting this bill passed before April 20th next year, just been a safe side in case Republicans decide to basically, I don't know, say no, or become more overpowering than they are right now. And as you saw from the video before that, it showed a lot of people, basically, um, that were Republicans and part of the GOP chair and shit like that, being arrested for sex crimes against children as well as against adults. So do we really want those type of people running our country saying, oh, you guys can't commit no crimes, but we can and we'll get away with it? I don't think so. I was always taught to, you know, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Well, they've been treating us like crap. Well, it's about time we treat them like crap and fire every single one of them. I mean, I'm sure there's some good Republicans out there Maybe not as bad as Mitch McConnell, probably a lot better. But Josh Hawley, Ted Cruz, and those others, they need to go. So is Mitch McConnell. But until next time, Frank is he rambling on about this. Let's hope that the uh, he actually speeds up on that and gets that passed this year. Otherwise, we don't know. And but before I go on anymore, I will wish you guys a wonderful evening. Please stay safe out there, and remember that, hey, we're all in this together. We'll probably be in it for a very long time. And I want to say a special thank you out there to uh, Tommy, because I'm sure he's watching this video. And thank you, my friend. And if you see this, this video as well, Freddie, hit me up. You're always welcome to. Until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party, I'm there, I get paid a fee Let's ride and